Hey everyone, it's Ashpreet and today let's build an autonomous RAG assistant. In AutoRAG, we give the LLM long-term memory backed by a database, we give it a knowledge base backed by a vector DB, and we give it tools to search the web, run database queries, or make API calls. So when the user asks a question, the LLM decides how to answer that question, whether it needs to get its, uh, get its chat history from the memory, whether it needs to search the knowledge base, or whether it needs to make a tool call like searching the web, running a database query, or making an API call to get the information it needs to answer that question. This is how our AutoRag application looks like. We're gonna give it a uh, blog post in the knowledge base, and then we're gonna ask, what did Meta release? So with our AutoRag assistant, instead of doing a semantic search on this query, we let the LLM search the knowledge base for what it needs. So this time it searched for meta release instead of that full query, which provides better search results from the knowledge base as well. Next, let's ask uh, what's happening in France. So in this case, we wanted to search the internet to provide this information for us, which it does. Finally, we're gonna ask, summarize, our conversation. Now, when we send that, we wanted to search its memory for the chat history and then give us a summary of our conversation. Now, these types of questions would be pretty difficult for a regular LLM API or a regular RAG application to answer, but our auto RAG application works brilliantly with them. Not only that, this can be extended to um, to questions that require some sort of uh, date time search for the answer. So if you want to ask the assistant, hey, what did I do yesterday? And then your knowledge base has information about your task each day. That's not a question a regular RAG application can answer, but your auto RAG application can be built to answer those questions pretty well. So you see over here, it gave me a summary of our conversation as well. So the code for this application, I'm going to give you the entire code for this application is fully open source. So our application today, uses the OpenAI LLM, GPT-4. It has uh, a memory backed by Postgres database, which is storing the chat history. It's got a knowledge base of PDFs and websites. We haven't added the rest, but you can do that yourself if you need. And then it's got the search web tool, but you can add a tool for database. You can add a tool for APIs or workflows. I'll leave that up to you as well. So the code for this application is under the FIDATA repo. So fork and clone this repository and go to the cookbooks folder. Under the cookbooks folder, you can find the code under example, auto rag directory. So after you've cloned this re uh, repo, open it up in the code editor of your choice under FIDATA cookbook examples auto rag, and you'll find the step-by-step -step instructions to run this application. Let's do that together as well. So I'm gonna stop the existing running application uh, so to run the AutoRag Assistant, fire up your terminal and first create a Python virtual environment. So we create a virtual environment so the dependencies, the Python libraries we install, uh, they're isolated from your system dependencies. Just install the library, then you're gonna run PG Vector. Uh, you can run it via the Docker run command or the script. If you have Windows, these backslashes won't work, so you need to r run it as uh, one line. So for me, it's going to throw an error because PG Vector is already running. But if it's not running for you, it'll start the PG Vector uh, database in a Docker container. Then we're going to run the Streamlit application, and that's about it. Now let's ask again a question from this blog post. We've already loaded this into our uh, knowledge base, so we don't need to load it again. But we we'll just go with it, and we'll ask, uh, "Tell me about the Llama three models." and it's going to search the knowledge base for Llama 3 models. But there's also one thing, how does it know whether to search the knowledge base or search the web or search the database? How does it know what to prefer, which tool call to take to answer this question? This is written up in the FIDATA assistant that is powering this application. So under this folder, you'll have an assistant and an app the app has the Streamlit application, which is the front end. Now the Streamlit application gets the assistant, which is under the assistant file over here. 
So this is a file data assistant that is using the OpenAI chat LLM. It's using Postgres for storage and PG vector for knowledge base. And we're giving it a description. Uh, description and instructions are just a way to format the system prompt. You can write the system prompt yourself using the system prompt uh, parameter, but we just like to use description and instructions because it comes out neatly formatted. So the description is you're a helpful assistant called Autorag and your goal is to assist the user in the best way possible. The instructions are where we teach it how to answer a user's question. So given a user query, first always search your knowledge base using the search knowledge base tool. Now this is where we're telling, hey, you need to always search your knowledge base first because we wanted to prefer the information that we provided it before going to the internet. This search knowledge base tool is added by setting this search knowledge parameter as true. So this is a default file data tool that is available to all assistants when you provide them a knowledge base. You can search this variable as true and it will give it give the assistant a, um, a tool to search its knowledge base. Then we're saying, if you don't find the relevant information, use the DuckDuckGo search tool. So the DuckDuckGo search tool will let it search the internet for that information. So if we were to ask what's happening in France or uh, tell me the latest news about Meta AI, then it's going to search the internet because it doesn't have that information in its knowledge base. So this is a custom tool that we provide using, um, we provide to the assistant separately. So over here, we're gonna import from Phi tools DuckDuckGo, and then we're gonna add it to the assistant. Phi data has many, many, many tools that you can use from, so you can do from Phi tools, uh, you can, um, this is actually not auto-completing, so I'll show that to you later. And then finally, we're gonna ask, if you need to reference the chat history, use the chat, read chat history tool. This is also a default tool that is provided by the read chat history equal to true parameter. Now, if you wanna see which all tools that are available, you can go to the FIDATA documentation and see all the tools that are available for assistant. We're trying to keep the documentation updated, but if you wanna see the tools that are not in the documentation, you can actually just go to the FIDATA repo and check them out. From FIDATA, Fi tools, and over here you can see all the tools that are available. I'm gonna make it a point to update the documentation with all the new tools we keep on adding every day. So coming back to our application, so once we built out this assistant, we give it the tools it needs, we give it some additional information uh, like answer, respond in markdown fam format, add some chat history to the messages. Uh, we can tune this by num history messages. We can say add four messages, three messages, or none at all. That's fine too. And that's how we answer our questions. So let's ask, um, tell me the latest news about Meta AI. So in this case, we needed to search the news inside of its knowledge base, which it already knows how to do. So this is the auto rag assistant, which depending on the user's query, decides how to answer the question, either from its memory, knowledge, or tools. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, make a GitHub issue, drop by in the Discord, and have a great day.